to ash. Hey everybody, it's Dipio. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Alright, we left off in this cavern with an ominous figure in the distance. And I think this is Horus. Um, we ran into Henri a couple times down in the pit and um, she, or he, he kept looking for uh, Horus and we said we didn't know where he was. Well, now we do. So, uh, I'm going to go in prepared because it's got to be a fight waiting to happen. There's no way that it can't be. Pretty sure we're not going to have a friendly conversation. Yep. All right. Break through his guard. I like that. Oh, okay. That was fancy of you. Okay, Horus, not that bad. Horus was not that bad. I overestimated what a pain he was going to be. Large Titanite Shard. Oh, two of them. We need so many of these. Will this be three? No, I don't want Fury. I want to pillage the remains. Yellow Bug Pellet. Okay. And Horus, what did you leave me? A Llewellyn shield? Is it any good? It's fancy. Oh, no, it's not good at all. Oh, yuck. Horus, no wonder you died. So we managed to clear out the triple ballista last time. So outside here in the... The main part of the cabin, we should be, we should be in a much better place to do some exploration. We're going to stay away from the crabs because, well, that should be good advice for anybody. But we've got some items to pick up. Large Titanite Shard. Oh, we're finally going to get some forward progress on our weapons. Large Titanite Shard! And Giant Killer Worm. Okay. So. We are gonna, we are gonna take a shot at that thing, but holy crap! Oh, there's no going around here. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, we're gonna probably die here. I don't wanna fight this thing yet. There's a, there's a path up here, right? Yep, okay. So, um, what I was trying to say before I realized we were going to get electrocuted to death is we are going to try and fight this worm. Is he going to shoot me? Okay. Whoa! Whoa! That was too close for comfort. <laughs> I thought he was going to get me for sure there. Okay. This is what I was hoping for. I thought I remembered a bonfire. Um, and we want to, uh, we want to rest, get all our flask back, all our health back, all that jazz. And now we're going to go out and see how we can do against this thing, because I honestly don't know. Like, we can bow up and really take it down without any worry, but I think I want to try to get in close, but I'm not sure how well that's going to work for us. We're going to find out here real shortly. Oh, that's 
there. Oh, that's not. <laughs> Take an undead bone shard. Very nice. And another large titanite shard. Okay, so here's the things that I know about this area. There is the boss, obviously. Big fog gate, ominous looking staircase. But we don't want to go there yet um, because there's more to explore. So let's go back to this bonfire and poke our noses around a little bit. I didn't expect that to be that easy. He kind of had a really uh, solid pattern of being stupid there. Now let's not uh, repeat that solid pattern of being stupid ourselves. And get into trouble that we can't get out of. I see it was his little son. Okay. Woo. Now that puts out his little flaming tur pu the turret, right? Yes, it looks like it does. And this is... Is this the area from the beginning? Yeah, where they're just wandering the hallways. I might not need to be here. I think we've covered all this ground. Yeah, we've covered all this ground. Sweet! Yeah, we got the Black Knight. We got the the Fume Knight. We got the... No, two Black Knights, actually. We killed the Ballista. We opened up the area. I think that's it. I think we're ready to move on to the, to the boss. Wow, I didn't expect to do that. I thought there was more... More here. Um, let's go ahead then. With 46,000 souls. Go back to the shrine and um, sharpen this weapon out before we fight the boss. I mean, that only makes sense. And if I remember correctly... And I'm pretty sure I do. Ah, just what neat. This boss is weak to poison. So I think it's going to do us some good to throw on some poison resin. Oh, we're at five. That's right. These things are a little bit weaker overall, but they kind of look cool. They add bleeding. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with them. Oh, we're already in the Titanite chunks. Goodness gracious, guys. Pretty be careful. I feel like I'm one step behind every time we go to fight something. Ah. You got anything that's worth my while, lady? You got lots of armor. We're rocking full. Oh, nope, we're missing one of those, but I'm not worried about it at the moment. We'll get it later. Fire is definitely not what we want against this guy coming up. Lots of embers if we need them. Ashen one. All right. 
Well, let's uh, burn a bone shard. Estus plus five. Let's grab some points in something. Welcome, husband. Very well, then It's gotta get at least two points, right? Oh, maybe three. All right, let's see. Um, you know what? With that, we might be done with vigor. Because I think vigor reaches its best. We might even go 20, 20, and we'll start pumping endurance. Farewell, Ashen One. Yeah. Because you can really overload and get health, but your Estus will only take you so far. And health is more of a buffer thing, you know? Death is always a short ways away. It's just how much of a buffer. And I, I don't know this for sure, but I can tell you that it sure feels like it sometimes. That when you up your health, the enemies just compensate and hit harder. <laughs> That's probably wrong, and somebody's going to tell me so, but um, that's what it feels like. Now, there is there is a thing here, and I don't know if I want to do it, because I kind of like our, our streak of beating bosses. Um, we, we did that one boss in Dark Souls 2, the Scorpion Lady, where we brought up um, NPC in, and it felt way too easy. Um... It felt like it sucked all the fun out of it. There's a there's an NPC here that can fight with us, and it opens up an armor set, I believe. Um, but I feel like I don't want to take the challenge out. We'll see. If I'm getting my butt like absolutely handed to me, maybe we'll maybe we'll give it a go. If I feel like I'm we're struggling too hard, but off the bat, probably not probably not worth it. And I love this setting because of all the dead. All the dead demons around him. Like it's such a cool backdrop. Whoa! That took me in the wrong direction. Catch me with those close-up area of effect spells. Let's get in tight here. I don't see him poisoned yet. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, is this where he does the... Oh, jeez. He calls meteors down at some point. I think this is it. Drink. Woo! Whoa! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Okay, so I didn't notice any poison effect, so we're not going to do that again. We're not going to do that again. But uh, I'm not, yeah, I definitely don't want to bring in a, a second player because that was a little too easy. We'll go magic this time since poison seemed to be a bit of a, a no-go. Problem is you just have to test some of these. Like you could get the book and... and and I could look up um, what spells would work best and what effects would work best. But um, otherwise, you really just have to, to just test it out and see. There's no real... I 
dodged it that time. Got the hits in and didn't get taken out. Ooh, that was close. That was too close. Oh, that was double too close. Oh, he's going dancing again. Couldn't get up. They kept going. <laughs> this guy's gonna be like right on the cusp. That's twice I should have beat him, but didn't get it. Okay. I think magic's fine though. Get that little bit of extra damage. He's really not, not too terrible. I don't know if it's the pressure of, of performing uh, here, but I feel like I do better at these bosses than I was playing by myself. I don't know why. It makes no sense. start talking about how it's easier and then I die quicker. Because I think that's what it is. I think that's what this moment is. Uh oh. I don't know what that move is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's called run your mouth and get your butt handed to you. That's no good. But that's the beauty of the magic weapon. I can't run out. Yep. It's guaranteed if I start talking about, wow, I'm not doing too bad here. Dark Souls does not take kindly to that kind of arrogance. At least he starts with that. What the what? That was funny. I'm being punished now. I'm being punished by the From Software gods. Yep, yep. 
I see it. I see it. The burning ring of fire. Alright, this time, we don't have time to get next to him. Just gotta get out of the way. Did you follow me all the way around there? Where did you go? Oh, there you are! on his leg. Oh, again? Okay. I think pretty much if you tuck in by these corpses, he's not able to get you. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I dodged that. I don't know how, but I did. no more. Alright, let me out of here. Alright, so we went to we went through the catacombs. Oh, yes, that's exactly where we need to go. Um, we went up the cathedral and fought the the choir, or whatever they are, I don't remember what they're called, but uh, we fought the mass of guys, and then we came back here, we went through the catacombs, down into the demon ruins, and we fought High Lord Wolnir, who opened up a new path, so that's where we need to head. Took me a second, sorry. I feel so silly too because that boss really isn't that bad and I remember fighting him the first time I was like I'll never beat this he is the king but he really wasn't that bad but I do like that we're climbing up and out of the catacombs but we're oh is this where we are Irithil of the Boreal Valley I loved this place. Not for like the things you fight suck and like you gotta go down there. You can already see some of the like creatures sitting in the water. And I, I hate wading through the water in Dark Souls. But, I mean, dude, look at this. With the snow coming down gently. And like there's a Borealis effect around the kingdom. And like the way the light comes up the towers. This is just a gorgeous level. How can you not like this? The welcome wagon. Oh. Nope, nope. Can't see where I'm going. Drink, drink. Woo. Drink, drink under his belly. Woo! 
dog. And I mean that. Dog E. Pontiff's right eye. Alright. Well, we saw what the Pontiff's left eye was. It gave us like HP, HP back on successive attacks. This boosts attack as long as attacking persists. Oh, that's kind of a cool. That's kind of a cool set. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to mess with what I got, but that's kind of cool. This was kind of neat um, coming after Bloodborne. You see some similar design decisions they made in Dark Souls 3 using what they learned from... Oh, look at that. Like, there's a warping effect. It made my swords, like... Look like they're double and triple. That's cool. I love when I hit a bonfire and can rest. Knowing I have nothing that I've brought back to life. Everything is already going. Okay. There's going to be a lot to remember here, I think. And I hear a crystal lizard. Nope, nothing there. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. He certainly looked like an enemy. What the frick is that sound? Uh oh. This guy spits dark. Okay. So. Hits like a Mack truck, but does stagger, so that's good. Is it... What's in here? Oh, it's one of those... Is that that big... Like... What's the word I'm looking for? Like a vicar? It's so fast, though, I might need to go... That thing, whoa! That thing hooked hard to the right. Oh my gosh. Okay, one of you is bad enough, two of you sucks. Look at those big long faces. Okay. Pontiff Knight Gauntlets. You're big and lithe, I wonder if your armor is light. We'll, we'll check it out if we get more pieces. Yeah, my double swords do great damage, but um, they're a little quick on the draw. I think I'm going to want this shield held high. And I want to figure out what all these growling... Oh. Nope. That's an invisible wall right there. like a plain old zombie. You guys aren't anything to worry about. You, on the other hand... I 
that somehow do less damage? Oh, whoa, that follows me. Okay, that's what I kind of wanted. go. Fire witch leggings. I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. Oh. All right, there we go. I'm loving it. Loving it. I'm not getting murdered. That's what I love. But I do see that. I don't love that. Oh, holy crap. Okay. I need to get to you. Can I get to you without alerting like half the world? It doesn't feel like that's going to be possible, but maybe it is. Woo! Any more clothes? Nope. Oh, jeez, two of them? Okay. I'm okay with that. You spotted me. Will you come up here and get me? No, you're just hanging out? Well, let's go back this way. As long as you and your brother don't gang up on me. Or sister. I don't know what you guys are. Crystal Lizard! <laughs> what is making that sound? guys are the cause of a lot of tension here. Oh, we're on the other side of that gate. Is it really just that? Put you out of your misery. Oh, gnawing that uh, the bug spell that they send out. Yeah, it was just her making those noises, or him again. Dark Souls, it's always hard to tell. Now, I could run into those those two um, pontiff knights that were kind of... Yep. Will that just pull the one? Looks like it might. Thank you. All right, let's go take care of your twin. And then I think I know a good place to call it for this episode. Oh, look at that. I wasn't even trying to do it, and I did it anyway. <laughs> 
backstabs for the win. Okay, um, we went up, we went down, and we hooked around. This is not a door. This is where we killed the witch, so I think straight ahead is going to be where we go. Um, we could go left, we could go right, and we could go straight. So this is where we're going to call it, staring these guys down. Is that fog? I don't like that. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. I know I enjoy putting it out, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Till then, take care of yourselves.